Hello, I'm Ms. Thomas and thanks for tuning in. In this video, I would like to show you how simple and engaging Kahoot is for teachers and students alike. It is a great educational tool that can be used for any content area for quizzes, discussions, or surveys. This tutorial will focus on using quizzes. The most exciting part about learning is that Kahoot is a game that adds scoring for student engagement and analysis of results for teacher engagement. Oh, and it's free, so that makes it better, right? So if you don't already have an account, you will have to click sign up and fill in the required information. I already have an account, so I will simply log in. I've already entered my username and password. You will need to use an email address to create an account. Now that I'm in, I would like to show you a fun feature called Find Cahoots. Uh, it's important that you let your students know that they can do this on their own. They do not have to only practice with quizzes that you create. So if your students are looking for a quiz to review a certain topic, they can type in the topic in the search box and search. It's very important to pick the appropriate grade level so that your quiz is useful. And the first quiz that comes up, I can see is 23 questions. And it will allow me to review the questions and show the answers so that I can make sure that all of the questions and answers are actually correct. And then we can play and I can also add it to my favorites, uh, which will allow me to edit the quiz if I would like. Next, I would like to show you how to make a new Kahoot. So you would click this purple button that says New K. And when you click that, what you'll see is a page that looks like this. You have to enter all the required information. I've given it a title. Uh, tags can be very useful using hashtags will help others to find quizzes that are related to your topic. And then I've entered credit resources for an introduction video. So you can copy and paste a URL to a video so that the video will play before your quiz starts to help children review before you get into the actual quiz. And of course, you have to give credit to the source for the video. And then we simply click OK Go. Adding a question. To add a question, you will simply click this purple plus button and we will open up a question that I've already added. So the question is, what is the longest bone in the human body? I've selected a time limit to give an appropriate wait time for that particular question. And then we will enter answer choices. One needs to be correct, of course, and you will select this green check mark beside the correct answer. And then the other, other answer choices will be incorrect. You are only required to have a minimum of two answer choices, so you can use true-false questions as well. Now that we have our quiz created, we can go ahead and start a game. So you will need a teacher display board, which is what we see here. And then each student who chooses to participate will have to have their own device to play with. So if we click on my cahoots, we can find our quiz and start playing. We'll click the play button. Now, on the right hand side of the screen, I have the teacher display wall and on the left hand side, I have what the students will see on their devices. Teachers, you will uh, use playkahoot.it and students would use kahoot.it. And to create your quiz, you would actually be on createkahoot.it. So we can choose our gaming mode. We'll go with classic. and it will prompt us to get ready to join. And we will need to enter this game pin in on our student device to enter the game. It will ask for a nickname. Of course, no inappropriate mm -hmm. nicknames. And click OK Go. And now our nickname is on the screen. If the screen happens to be inappropriate, you can simply click the name and the student will be removed from the game. And then we can click start.
the question will be displayed before the student can choose an answer, and then they will simply choose the geometric shape and color that matches the answer choice that they would like to select. And then the teacher will get feedback. If you need to reteach at this time, you can do so, or you can move to the next question if most of the students or all of them got them correct. The teacher display screen will show you uh, which student finished top, the first three top students, and then we can choose to get results. Saving results is a great feature because then you can use these scores later on as maybe a daily grade. And then show feedback is where the students on their screen will actually have an opportunity, as you can see on the left, to rate the quiz that they just took. And you can see the results on that. And to show the scoreboard will show the ranking of all the students who participated in the quiz. So we can choose a new game or play again. And now you are an expert on how to use Kahoot. So I hope that you can make learning fun in your own classrooms.